Welcome to the news channel. This is National Security News. U.S. stars Alabama woman who joined ISIS from returning. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has said the State Department will block an American-born woman who left Alabama to join Islamic State in 2014 from returning to the U.S. Hoda Mukhana, 24, told The Guardian this week that she regretted leaving the U.S. to join the terrorist group and wants to return from Syria with her 18-month-old son. Pompeo said on Wednesday that the U.S. will refuse to take Mukhana back, saying she is not a U.S. citizen. The refusal to admit Mukhana could set precedent and face legal challenges as it is generally extremely difficult to lose U.S. citizenship. In a brief statement that gave no details as to how the determination was reached, Pompeo said Mukhana has no legal basis to claim American citizenship. She does not have any legal basis, no valid U.S. passport, no right to a passport, nor any visa to travel to the United States. The Secretary of State said, We continue to strongly advise all U.S. citizens not to travel to Syria. Donald Trump claimed credit for the move, tweeting, I have instructed Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, and he fully agrees, not to allow Hoda Muthana back into the country. Muthana, who was captured by Kurdish forces after fleeing the last pocket of land controlled by Islamic State, has said she deeply regrets traveling to Syria four years ago to join the terror group and has pleaded to be allowed to return to her family in Alabama. Speaking from El Hol refugee camp in northern Syria, Mahana, who was once one of ISIS's most prominent online agitators, said she had been brainwashed and had misunderstood her faith when she aligned herself with ISIS. A State Department spokesperson on Wednesday echoed Pompeo's remarks and said Mathana was not born a U.S. citizen and has never been a U.S. citizen. Basan Shibley, an attorney for the woman's family, said the administration's position is based on a complicated interpretation of the law involving her father. They're claiming her dad was a diplomat when she was born, which, in fact, he wasn't, Shibley told the Associated Press. Hoda Mathana was born in 1994 in Hackensack, New Jersey, the lawyer said. Mathana was born to parents from Yemen who became naturalized American citizens, according to the Counter-Extremism Project at George Washington. University. Most people born in the United States are accorded so-called birthright citizenship but there are exceptions. Under the Immigration and Nationality Act, a person born in the U.S. to a foreign diplomatic officer is not subject to U.S. law and is not automatically considered a U.S. citizen at birth. Pompeo's statement on Mahana, one of the few Americans among the hundreds of Europeans to have joined the ranks of the Islamic State group in Syria, is at snark odds with his calls on other countries to bring back and prosecute their own jihadist nationals. In late 2014, shortly after moving to Syria, Mahana posted on Twitter a picture of four women who appeared to torch their Western passports, including an American one. She went on to write vivid calls over social media to kill Americans, glorifying the extremist group that for a time ruled vast swathes of Syria and Iraq. But with the Islamic State group down to its last stretch of land, Mahana said she had renounced extremism and wanted to return home. Mahana, who has been detained by U.S. allied Kurdish fighters, said that she had been brainwashed online and was ashamed of her past support for the militants. She was married three times and has a toddler son. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for channels to stay up to date with the latest news. Goodbye and see you again.